Okie dokie. In this problem, we will be using very similar ideas to the ones we saw in the problem 1.2.3c. Alright, except in this problem we are considering the SIR model. So, uh, we are trying to identify which of these statements are true. Let's jump right into it. Number one, according to the model, if parameter B increases, then R prime D decreases. All right, so initially we want to look at R prime and then think about what's going to happen to R prime if B increases. Well, if B increases and the coefficient here is positive, then if B goes up, then R prime is also going up. In other words, R prime should be increasing if B is increasing, but they do not say that. So one is false. Number two, they say if the parameter a increases, then s prime increases. All right, s prime is what we're focused in on. So because they say if a increases, then let's think about a. So if a increases and a has a negative in front of it, then really that's going to bring s prime down with it. So if a is increasing, the negative's in front, so the overall value will end up going down. s prime will be decreasing if a increases so that's not what they say so two is also false number three they say that if a increases i prime will increase so instead of looking at s prime we're looking at i prime and analyzing what will happen if a increases well the difference here with i prime is that a increasing or a in this case has a positive or no negative in front of it so basically if a goes up then i prime is also going up which means i should i prime should be increasing if a is increasing so this one is actually true so it looks like only three is correct we break out the eraser to see that e is in fact our answer i'll do at least one more example of this problem, feel free to check it out.